Welcome back to Portal Knights Tutorials, where I show you all the neat tricks I've discovered in the game and show you how to do them. Today, I want to focus on something that you could call rapid block placement, or speed building, or whatever name you can come up with for it. What I mean by that is exactly what it sounds like, the placement of blocks at a high rate of speed. Now, one thing I love doing in this game is visiting the worlds of other players because I like to see what they've created and explore what they've built. And I'm a really big fan of seeing large structures, often wondering how long it took them to build it. And that, my friends, brings me to the point of this video. When I'm watching someone build something, I'll notice how not all players, but quite a few of them, will stand behind where they are going to put the block down and an inch forward each time a block is placed. This isn't the most efficient way to build something, especially if what you're trying to build is enormous in size. And I mean enormous. And let's face it, building anything that large using that method could take literal hours to complete. So let's jump into this right away because this is the easiest method to place a lot of blocks. If there's one thing that you should know about blocks is that it's always best to place them at eye level because this is the foundation of speed building. And to do this you would simply look straight ahead in first person view, align yourself up with the starter block at eye level, and then you would just spam the block placement button. And for PS4, PS5 users that would most likely be R2. And for PC users, that would be whatever you have that button set to on the mouse. So it looks something like this. Pretty simple. That was really, really fast. So I'll do it again. So you just have a starter block. I put one right there. And you go to the end as, as far as you'd, you'd want to go. And just rapidly hit the button down. And as you can see, that's a lot faster than placing one block down at a time ahead of you. And well, that method may be useful for certain situations. If you're trying to do floors or walls, uh, this method is a, is a whole lot better. Now, say you wanted to make a floor. You could do that using this method. However, you'll find that as the blocks get closer to you, the crystal will eventually rest on top of the blocks and you'll start placing them at eye level again. And the only way to avoid doing this is to keep putting the cursor down as you back up. And you don't really, really want to do that because that's a little inefficient. It's still a fast method, but not the fastest. But there is a really simple solution for this. And that is to simply make a trench at the end of where you want the floor to, to end. Because again, doing this places the blocks at eye level, and all you have to do is just spam the block placement button down. And you just do one line like that, you can step to the side and do it again, and step to the side and place more blocks down fast. And in no time you'll have a, a nice long floor in a matter of seconds. For walls, it's the same thing. The only difference being is that you want to create a column of blocks going to the height that you want the wall to be. Let's place a few blocks right there. And again, you want to remain at eye level and just place the blocks there. After you get done with the, the, the bottom row, you want to float in the air and just kind of go down, move up or down depending on where you're at and align yourself with the wall again. And just keep doing that. And just like the floor, you can have the wall within a matter of seconds. And there we go. One really important thing to note is that you can place or delete objects at a maximum range of 21 blocks out. So if you're making a building that is longer or wider than that, there is also an easy fix to that as well. What you want to do is align yourself up with the blocks that you want to create a row on, and keeping yourself centered, 
you want to just simply move backwards as you're spamming the five types of button down like that. And you want to be careful to keep yourself centered because if the cursor is up or below it, you're going to either start to move up or down. And it's as simple as that. Now making columns of blocks is a little bit trickier because you're, what you're doing is you're essentially jumping up and hitting the block thing at the same time again. This is a little bit faster than just placing them down like that, really fast. Uh, this method works best in water since you're floating up in the air. Uh, also, if you, if you have the wings on, not not as uh, a vanity item, but if you have them equipped as armor, uh, you can also float up in the air too, and uh, that method is a lot more effective. Um, so if you if you don't have that, if you're just on dry land, you don't have the wings uh, equipped as armor. Uh, your, your best bet is just to go ahead and just place them down normally. Uh, you can jump and, and place the blocks down, but it kind of requires a little bit of timing. The other option is to float up in the air um, and place the blocks that way. But the blocks sometimes catch up to you faster than you can go up. So you don't have, have to worry so much about doing the method uh, when making columns. And that's all there is to it, guys. This is the easiest and fastest way to place blocks down over a large area. In my opinion, if a lot of players knew about this method, I think that a lot of them would feel more inclined to start making larger structures. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, what I'm going to do now is demonstrate just how fast you can make uh, a floor and, and walls. So um, thanks again for watching, and until next time.